Good morning and welcome to another retrofit video from Future Studio University. I'm Norman and today we will talk about how you can customize your JSON instance for retrofit. So we have a whole series on retrofit, we have a whole se series on JSON and you have seen how you can customize JSON to pretty much fit any scenario. But we have never actually customized JSON for retrofit. And this is what we will do in this video. All right, so what you see here is a simple example for Retrohood. Maybe we customize the timeouts and we add a JSON um, instance as a converter, just like we do pretty much in all of our videos. But when you create JSON like this, it uses the default options of JSON. And as you have learned in our other videos, you can customize JSON with a lot of options. So how can you customize JSON with Retrohood? And it's actually um, pretty easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to create your JSON instance, um, just like you would do, um, like uh, we have done in the previous video. So let's say we will do JSON. We are going to say a new JSON builder instance. And now we're going to customize this. Let's say we're going to serialize nulls. And what else do we want? Um, let's say we want the date format to does it automatically come with it? Let's say we want the long date format and now let's create the JSON instance. So this is the customized JSON instance we want Vetrofit to use. And all you have to do is pass this JSON instance to the converter factory. So the converter factory now will use your custom JSON instance. You can configure it in any way you need to, any way you want. And retrofit, so what you create here, this retrofit instance will rely on this converter, which will rely on your custom JSON instance. So now all these retrofit requests will see realize nulls and they will map the date format as uh, in the long form. And that's it. If you want me to record more of that videos, make that visible and give this video a like, subscribe for upcoming videos and enjoy coding, make it rock and see you next time.